It's from Logan. I want to know if you think it would be better to have it this covered up or just touched up. I don't want any color, all black and white. I would really love like some sort of flower design. Okay, and the countdown begins. So flowers in black and gray, I would say, I would say, first of all, we need to sort of use, because personally, personally, I would recommend cover this up. It is not that black. Uh, it's not very hard to cover this up. But what we, uh, we could do here is to, if you are open to do something bigger, it would be super awesome to sort of like make um, here we could have let's say white huge roses okay I'm not the best at freehand roses you guys but just to like show what we could do so white roses because and white, I mean soft black and gray, you know, with not much black in them, just like in the bottoms and in the, in the darkest shades, just to get it to look like mm, white or light roses. Okay, and just touch here up to this, and then we could do either a darker flower or something in the middle but I think it would be cooler to actually just like surround it maybe so that we could uh, put a rose up here on the top a white one or a light one whatever okay this is my sort of fast rose sketch so forgive that and let's do one more here in the front Okay, and then we could have a mm, uh, rosebud, like here. We use this shape here to make a rosebud, and maybe one more in there. You see that I'm sort of like using the shape that is already there. So, just shaping so it looks sort of like a rosebud thing and adding some I'm having the wrong brush right now but it's just to like make a sketch so you can sort of see what I'm doing and then in the middle we could have uh, yeah definitely we could have maybe a leaf like that we can do a leaf like this this is just like my first thought. Of course, you can work on this and change and all of that. But we, we need more leaves as well. So we need to have some, maybe one down here. Ugh, that was not a nice shape, but you get the idea anyway. Okay, more leaves here and there. Just to like make the whole thing a little bit more like, shapes and uh, it needs mm, well yeah okay and we have the rosebud or leaf or something just something that happening there and then in here we could have spider web that's perfect for it it's like it's almost already there you know so um, okay now since I'm not tattooing I'm <laughs> I'm just drawing. I would actually just make the whole thing as dark as I can. Blacken it out a little bit. Because then it's also nice to see, okay, is this too much with this dark here? Maybe we should have some more dark beneath it. Um, you know, just to like, so that everything else doesn't look so, uh, too light and all of this in the middle is too dark so that's why we can also add um, da, da, da. 
Okay, I'm just going to add some more black now just to like get this more clear. But at the same time, I want to see where the bug is. Is that a bee or I don't know. Let's see here. Okay, and then we make this a little bit transparent like that because it's probably going to be a little transparent when it's done anyway. So, and then I'm just going to try to, okay, I'm, I'm going to copy this just in case, in case I mess up. Uh, copy, paste, okay. And then, uh, there we go. Okay, something like this. And then we are gonna just uh, make a spider web. Okay, I'm not the best at these um, freehand spiderwebs. I think it would be even better if you sort of find a really cool photo of a spiderweb, you know, and then you just sort of copy it. I mean, I'm sure you don't have to ask the spider for permission to do that. Ooh, I tried to be funny. Sorry. Okay, and then that's sort of what I wanted to do and then you can also add if if this area is too dark for your taste you can always try to and add uh, even more stuff where you know where it can be like uh, in here we can add something you know a little leaf or something uh, here we can add a leaf Mm, you know, all of these spaces where it's not the old tattoo. Yeah, but something like this. Make this darker again so you can see. And yeah, that's sort of my first uh, thing, like my first thought uh, while doing this. And then this could be still be soft and black and gray. And of course, the roses will be more like realistic roses these are my super fast um sketches so and as i said i'm not the best rose sketcher really uh, i can try to like make these a little bit more looking like roses but yeah i'm not that's not my uh, you know i'm a, i'm a copy machine in a way i i use photographs uh, I'm not the best sketcher for my for my head really and then we can do some more like shades here and there it does it can be like even darker some places you know but yeah that's um, that's what I would do really mm, let's see her merge okay so yeah, what do you guys think of this? Uh, we can also have maybe, uh, you know, like these swirly things. That's always nice. Um, more leaves. They should be better sizes, I guess. A leaf up here. I don't know. Uh, you can always make more details and like but yeah, this is a way to cover this up and still, still like keep it black and gray and do flowers. So this is a safe version, a safe way to cover it up when you're using a lot of black in that area because you don't have to, uh, you don't have to like spend many sessions to cover it up you know it, it will probably just you know need one session and then you're good 
So yeah, that was that one. Do you like it? <laughs> awesome. This is the Tad Chat with Electric Linda.